And now please join us in saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Hello, my name is Julian. Hello, my name is Joaquin. And I'm right there. What? Yes. We got some jokes. Do me. Go for it. What kind of coat goes up in flames? What kind? A blazer. Mm. Joaquin, you got a joke. I wish I had ball the same way I play baseball. How do you play baseball? I only get strikes. <laughs> okay, let's do that joke. I heard that a robber robbed a calendar store. What happened to him? He got 12 months. One more time. <laughs> what kind of nail does a carpenter not like to hit? What kind? A fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I gotta go back to the North Pole to why we win. Somebody else. At this time, I'd like to sincerely thank everyone who has been faithfully supporting the church with your financial donations and pledges. We realize that not everyone is able to give in the way you might want to right now, and that's all right, too. But for those who can, we are tremendously thankful. If you'd like to make a donation, you can do so on our church website at firstpresbyterian.church. You can also give through the Venmo app, the Zelle app, and on our Facebook page. And of course, mailing a check to the church address still works too. We're pretty proud of the work that our church members do in their vocations and in our community. And that especially includes Craig Field, who is one of our church officers and a UTEP professor whose work focuses on substance abuse and improving health outcomes in minority communities. Craig was recently featured in local news outlets for helping to launch a new research effort called Cambios, which hopes to recruit Hispanic men ages 20 to 50 from the Paso del Norte region who have effectively changed their drinking behavior. The study is in order to learn what, how, and why the participants decided to change their behavior, as well as what psychological factors and cultural risks the men encountered. If you know someone who fits that description and might be willing to participate in the study, let us know and we will pass that information on to Craig. This past week, the state of Texas issued guidelines for churches to consider when reopening their facilities for public worship. Several of you have asked when that will happen for our church, and I want you to know that our church officers are reviewing those guidelines and beginning to make plans for how we can slowly, cautiously, and safely return to our sanctuary for worship when the time is right. Even then, we will probably still be in hybrid mode, some people watching from home and some present in the building, for quite some time. So pray for your church leaders and your community, state, and national leaders as they make these difficult but necessary decisions. And please know that we as a church family will respect and honor the decisions that you make for the safety of yourself and your loved ones. Finally, we want to wish a happy birthday to those who have recently celebrated or who are about to celebrate. Now, we've had a few glitches in our system lately, so if we missed your birthday, we apologize. Please let us know, and we'll make it up to you. But happy birthday to Chloe Sierra, Marcia Swinson, Christopher Swinson, Eric Swinson, that's just about everyone in the Swinson family except Colonel Swinson, and Elsie Palmore. Feel free to reach out to these folks and wish them a happy birthday, letting them know how much we love and appreciate them as members of our church family. Our closing song today is number 475 in the Presbyterian hymnal, one of the most popular hymns of all time. Come thou fount of every blessing. Let us sing together with joy in our hearts. See
Thank you.